Hi there everyone, this is uh, February 24th of 2018. I'm Rip Rollins and this is the JNL 58. As of today, we've been working on this project for three years and a little under two months. And uh, this is where we stand at this point. Uh, the, uh, the entire running gear frame and all that, all this work has been completed. Um, as you know, we took the, uh, the drivers off. The drivers have been taken apart and the roller bearings have been refurbished and put back together. We moved the, uh, the tires out from the 23 inch gauge, was built out to 24 inch gauge. That large piece of plate was added to the front. The front draw bar was put on. The rear platform with about 12,000 pounds of new plate, that was all put on. Uh, new draw bar in the back as well. New cab has been built. Um, the uh, mechanical packing has, has been uh, machined, uh, the, uh, the rods have been machined and cleaned up. Uh, Everything is back together now, all the, the rods are on, shimmed uh, properly. Um, so just about everything that we could do to the, to the, uh, to the running gear has been done. Uh, the last couple of things to do include uh, putting a mechanical lubricator on the right side for feeding cylinder oil to the uh, uh, to the cylinders. Um, the next the next step really is putting the boiler on. Now the uh, I went up yesterday and, and inspected the boiler. They have uh, half of the tubes are installed. Uh, all the uh, the other work they were going to do, they had a state bolt that needed to replace the uh, the bottom half of the smoke box was replaced, the doubler plate was replaced, the bottom half of the front tube sheet was replaced. Uh, there was a couple other minor repairs here and there, a few studs needed to be replaced. Um, but at this point they're putting the tubes in now. Um, they, 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 they did half, they ran out of tubes, they ordered some more. The, the, those tubes will be in, actually it probably would have been delivered uh, yesterday or they're going to come in Monday and the uh, latter part of next week they'll get those in and the next step is, is to do the hydro test assuming the hydro test uh, comes out all right uh, we'll go up there pay them for all the work haul the boiler back down here to Youngstown once we get the boiler here um, bring the locomotive outside take the, take the cab off pick the boiler up set the boiler down uh, on the frame and uh, we're going to do things a little bit different from the way normal locomotive, steam locomotives are done. Normally steam locomotives don't have a big front plate out there. Uh, your smoke box front bolts to it. Well, in this case, the boiler has to, you know, also still has to bolt to it. We're going to do it a little different way. Um, I have a, a ring of 3 inch steel that uh, goes up there as a flange. And when we put the boiler on, the boiler will go up against the 3 inch steel plate, which will... Um, which will be up against that plate there and then we uh, once we get everything figured out where it needs to go get all the the holes ringed out so we can put new bolts in then we weld the front of the uh, smoke box barrel to that flange and then the flange is bolted to the front there uh, and of course there's a gasket in there so um, so basically it, it's a way of making that uh, that connection so it's um, it's airtight uh, in the back, there is a um, there's two pieces of angle that bear on the, the top of the platform. Uh, one of which just slides. The other one has uh, about a half dozen should be um, oval holes in it. Then you have shoulder bolts, and basically that allows the boiler to move back and forth as it expands and contracts. Um, and, and, and also still, you know, attaches it to the rear end of the locomotive. Now, originally, the saddle tank was attached to the, uh, to the barrel. The, the front of the saddle tank rested on the plate. There were four brackets on either side of the, 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 the smoke or of the uh, boiler barrel that uh, supported the, uh, the saddle tank. 
I really didn't like that idea, uh, kind of in favor of the boil, leaving the boiler just so it can expand and contract and do its own things. And I don't, you know, don't like having all this stuff hanging off of it. So I've designed uh, brackets or pillar supports that will go in the front of the cab on both sides that will support the rear corners of the of the. Um, saddle tank and the front of the saddle tank will be supported by the plate as it was originally. Uh, in that way the boiler is not supporting any weight at all. It is just doing its own thing and the uh, the saddle tank is, uh, is supported otherwise. Um, and of course that, that saddle tank is insanely heavy to begin with. The, uh, the bottom of both sides of the, uh, the saddle tank are you know, three inch thick plate. So it's it's mighty heavy just on its on its own, and uh, <clears throat> so I think that'll be a much much better thing. I've, we've I've, uh, I've I've not hesitated to make a few improvements to this locomotive as as we've gone along. Um, you know, it is a restoration, but since there was so much stuff missing off of it, uh, I've decided that to to take that opportunity to. Uh, to kind of make a few changes and improvements to it. Um, you know, originally that back platform, and there are three plates that are two inch thick, and then there's cheek plates on the other side that are four inch thick. Well, originally there were other plates in there that were two and a half inches thick, and there were different, uh, a little bit different configuration, and everything was welded together and welded to the to the rear of the frame. Well, I, I didn't like that very much because there's an inherent weak spot in the, in the rear end here. When you take the, take the driver boxes out, and if the binder uh, are, are not in, that rear frame can actually bend down because of all that weight. Well, I didn't like that to happen. So I figured, well, since we have to put those plates on anyways, let's make them so they're removable. And now uh, they're all bolted together, and there's clips that bolt to the frame so that that entire platform can be taken apart, can be taken off. Uh, if need be. And really the locomotive is, is set up so that it can come apart into several uh, sub-assemblies. I mean, if you want to take this thing apart, all you have to do is you, you take the saddle tank off, you take the cab off, take the rear platform off, take the boiler off, and then you're back down to the frame. So, what's that, five, uh, five major sub-assemblies and uh, to tear this thing completely apart. Uh, and, and then you know, you just stack them, everything back together, bolt it all back together, and, and the locomotive's in, in one piece again. Um, I really like this design of, of, of locomotive. It's, it's kind of growing on me, and I know it's an oddball, but it's, it's, it's kind of an interesting design how, how this was made. Well, anyways, uh, so when the, uh, when the boiler gets back in, we'll, of course, get to work getting it on there. Um, We'll do another hydro test once we have it plumbed in, and then uh, at some point here, after that's done, uh, we will do our initial uh, test firing of the locomotive and uh, do a steam test. Take the uh, you know, take the valves back apart, take the cylinder heads off, blow steam through everything, make sure that you don't have any bits and pieces of whatever stuck in there that's going to wreak havoc on things. Put all that back together and. Uh, See what uh, see if she can move again under our own power. Um, our schedule for this year is uh, starting was it Saturday, June second, uh, will be our opening day for the Youngstown Steel Heritage Museum. It is uh, my goal to have this locomotive operational by June second. Uh, um, I mean it's February twenty fourth now, so we have March, April, May, a little over three months to get it done. Uh, you know, assuming I get the boiler back pr pretty soon, I don't see any reason why we can't. This is ready to go. All we have to do is put the boiler on and plumb it in and fire it up. So, uh, and, and, and as time goes on, we're start the days are getting longer and it's, and it's starting to get a little bit warmer each day. And my productivity is a little bit uh, better when it's warm and, and, and not, uh, you know, two feet of snow and freeze your ass off. Uh, so, uh, so I think we can get it done. At the very least, we've got the uh, the 64 runs now, which runs pretty good. 
so we can run that back and forth, but I definitely want to have this running if we can. So um, at any rate, that's, that's where we stand right now. Um, you know, as always, uh, appreciate your support of this project, and uh, um, hopefully we'll see you all out here this summer and, uh, you know, climb in the cab and uh, take her out for a spin. So uh, take care.